Time doesn't stop. Every second is a chance to create something that lasts. But without balance, it collapses. Without focus, it fades. Nothing happens unless you make it. Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new breakdown. In this video, I will show you how you can create 3D reels using the camera. At the end, I'm also going to show you how you can turn any 2D image into 3D like this. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Let's get started. As always, create a vertical composition in 9 to 16 ratio. On top of it, we have added a white solid. See over here. To add one, just right click, go to new, and you can add a solid from over here. Next, we have the background. In order to create a background like this, it's quite simple. You can go to the top, select the rectangle tool over here, unselect any layers, and create a rectangle like this. In the field, you have to select the radial gradient. You can press on OK. Then going over here, you can choose any color that you want. Let's say you want a shade of red. For that, you can go over here, select red. See over here, the color has changed to red. The other color can be black. Just press on OK. Now just zoom out a bit and press on V. You see, we have got these two pointers. All you need to do is select this one and just spread out like this. Let me put it over here. See, you can keep it like this. Let me go over here and make it fit to screen. The next is the text. Let me enable all three of these. See, firstly, we have the text time and later on, we have the text every second. Let me show you how to create this. Again, it's quite simple. Just select the text layer from over here on the top. Coming over here, click once. Let's write the same word, time. You can choose any font that you want. Now open the layer, go to animate and just click on opacity. From over here, ensure that the opacity is set to zero like this. Now coming over here, add a keyframe and offset. Going ahead, maybe at this point, just change the offset. 200%. Now go to advanced over here at the bottom. Ensure that the randomizer is turned on like this. This way you can see the letters are coming one by one in a random manner. This is the exact thing which you have done here. The zoom in effect which you see over here is created using the 3D camera. We will learn about it as we move ahead. This other text every second is also created in the exact same manner. All you have done if I press on U, you can see we have just added keyframes in the opacity. Perfect. Now let's have a look at our main 3D objects. In this case, let me enable all of this. See at the start, we have these antique clocks. We are rotating. Then the one in the middle flips completely and then we zoom in. Let me show you where you can get this for free. Simply head on to this website called a Sketchfab. Over here, you can just search for clocks or maybe antique clocks. See these ones. Once you get the one which you like, maybe actually I don't really like these ones. Let's see this one. You can go down from over here. You can click on download 3D model and then ensure that you choose the GLB format. Okay, let me close this. Once you download it, you can simply bring it to our media pool and then drag it to our timeline. I hope this is clear. In a similar manner, all we have done is just added five clocks. See the ones which you see over here, press on R and just play it around with this rotation, which you see over here. Each of them, I just rotated them in different directions. Now let's have a look at the clock animation. So if I go over here, if I press on U, we have just added keyframes in the Y rotation. So at the start, it's at zero. So as we move ahead, have a look at this clock. See, this one is rotating. We have added the exact same keyframes for all the others as well. If I press on you, see. From 0 till 5 seconds, we are ensuring that it's rotating in clockwise manner. Now let's have a look at the main one. The animation in the main clock is quite different. If I press on you, see at the start, we have added keyframes in the Y rotation. It's exactly the same as the one on the other four. But we have added one more thing. As we move ahead, at this point, we have to change the rotation. We want to flip it. For that, when it comes at this point, see somewhere over here, we are just changing the orientation. See like this. You can just play around with the orientation. So at the start, and it was facing this side, at the point where the world changes from time to every second, I just flip the clock. So from here till here, we have just made changes in the orientation. See like this. So let's again have a look at this. At the start, we had this Y rotation, exactly similar to the others. On top of that, we added this orientation so that from here, Till here it's the same it's just facing the left side then from this point till here it will just flip see it will flip from here till here at the same point we are also ensured that the scale decreases a bit you see the scale at this point was around 800 so from here till here we have just reduced it down to around 570 perfect i hope this is clear it's not really that difficult you just need to play around with it a bit now let's have a look at the other two text you have this text doesn't stop. So at the start, when the word time comes in, we also have the text doesn't stop, which comes from the bottom. Let's write something. Let's write the word doesn't. Let's open this. Go to animate. 
here add keyframe in position we can go to add add a keyframe in opacity the position we want it to come from the bottom right so all we need to do is so just decrease it a bit maybe around 50 60 ensure that opacity is zero opening this up in advanced in based or instead of characters make sure that this is words if it's characters these words will come one by one so the characters b o a c n t it will come character by character basically by alphabets but right now you see we wanted this entire word to come together right so for that i'm changing it to words make sure close this add keyframe stop set going ahead make this as 100 percent see if it is too slow you can just take this keyframe and put this little together and if you want a smooth motion you can even select both of them and press on f9 see this way we'll get the smooth motion like this i hope this is clear let me delete this okay so this takes care of these two layers the text doesn't stop now let's add the 3d camera but if you are here till this point make sure to subscribe to the channel it's completely free for you but it really helps me out a lot to add the 3d camera just right click go to new go to camera over here you can keep it as 35 mm and just press on ok once you add the camera ensure that all the other layers are done 3d as well the background can remain as 2d we don't really need to make any changes over there but other layers you need to make them as 3d then also add the null layer this null layer will work as a camera controller right click go to new and also add the null object now ensure that this camera is connected to null layer using this peak wick you can take this peak wick and connect to a null layer like this now all the keyframes that we are going to add will be in this null layer so if i press on you see we have all the keyframes over here let's zoom in so at the start the scale is kept at 66 percent so i can play around with this so if you see our original video at the start the scale is kept like this and then it zooms in see this way it's completely up to you so from this point till here i wanted it to be zoomed in so i kept it around 70 then from here till this point we're just adding keyframes in the scale see so till the point it says time doesn't stop so we just added keyframes in scale then from this point onwards as the new text comes in every second we want to zoom in on that like this so for that we have just added keyframes in scale obviously and also added keyframes in position so that from here till here the position changes as well and the focus comes on the words every second see this way then from here till here you see we are zooming around it but what area are we zooming on the reason being we don't really see anything is because i forgot to solo this layer let me solo this see now from here till here we have these words create something that lasts now let me play this Finally, from this point till here, we are just decreasing the scale so that everything will go out of the screen. I hope this is clear. Again, the animation that you see for these four words is exactly the same which you saw earlier. If I open this, insert of text in animator, see, we have just added keyframes in position and opacity. I already showed you how to do it. Finally, we have added an adjustment layer so that at the point, let me press on U. So at this point, when you're switching from time to a next word, we get that smooth transition. See, from here till here, we are quickly switching the words. So by adding that blurriness, we get the smooth flow. So all we have done is just added a Gaussian blur over here and added a few keyframes. So at this point, let me go here. See, at this point, Gaussian blurriness is zero. At here, it's around 37. And again, at this point, we'll make it zero. Perfect. See, in our reel, the first one was the clock. See, we easily got a 3D object. But next one is yin yang. It's quite easy to get a 2D image of this. But to get a 3D one, it might be difficult. Let me show you how you can create something similar. Let's go to project. Let's get a new composition for your reference. I already got this image. Let me bring it over here. Let's recompose it. Make sure that you move all attributes to a new composition and just press on OK. Now on top of this, we just have to add the shatter effect. Selecting this layer, search for shatter like this. Going over here, firstly in the view, change it to rendered. In force 1, keep everything as 0. Same thing in force 2, perfect. In shape, right now it's kept as bricks. Go to your drop down and select custom. And then from the map, select yin yang, perfect. Finally, over here, you have to change the extrusion depth. Right now, it's kept at 0 0.2. If I go down, you have inbuilt camera position inside of this. So going over here, if I play around with this, so you already have got some depth. But if you want to increase this, so if you have to increase this, see over here, we have this much depth, right? If you want to create that depth, you can just increase this extrusion depth. See from over here, perfect. Finally, going over here in texture, in the side layer, instead of none, select the layer and in this back mode, select color and opacity so now if i rotate this so you have nice 3d object in front of us if you want to change the color you can easily change it from over here if you want to keep it black you can keep it a black shade 
and now any animation that you want to do you can do it from here itself so basically you don't really have to now make this as 3d and then do the animation simply by adding keyframes over here let's say we added a keyframe over here going ahead you can increase this see you can flip it like this if you want now if you want to take copies you can just take copies of this place them wherever you want see and then similar to the one at the start the one which we did for the clocks you can just change their positions and then add keyframes in the rotation this is the exact same thing which they have done over here for this inyanks so now if you have a look at our remaining reel this is exactly the same like our first scene so if you understood how to do this see this one the other two scenes are exactly the same let's have a look time doesn't stop every second is a chance to create something that lasts that's it so thank you guys for watching the full tutorial so if you like this concept of me showing the face in the tutorial let me know in the comments and if you want to learn after effects from scratch I have a full tutorial on the channel make sure to check it out over here i'll see you next time